welcome to Virtual Storytime with Orange County Public Libraries. My name is Miss Riley and I am filming from Library of the Canyons today. Today we are going to read, There's a Dragon in Your Book. But before we get started, we're going to do some of our own cool dragon moves. So, let's stand up and we'll get started. Here we go. All right, get your dragon ready. Dragon, dragon, turn around. Dragon, dragon, touch the ground. Dragon, dragon, fly up high. Dragon, dragon, touch the sky. Dragon, dragon, swing your tail. Dragon, dragon, shake your scales. Dragon, dragon, give a roar. Dragon, dragon, let's do it once more. Ready? One more time. Dragon, dragon, turn around. Dragon, dragon, touch the ground. Dragon, dragon, fly up high. Dragon, dragon, touch the sky. Dragon, dragon, sway your tail. Dragon, dragon, shake your scales. Dragon, dragon, give a roar. Dragon, dragon, sit. Now we're gonna do our story time. <laughs> I'll take my dragon mask off so that we can enjoy a human doing story time. All right, again, we're gonna be reading There's a Dragon in Your Book. Written by Tom Fletcher and illustrated by Greg Albot. Oh, nice. All right, and also a special thank you to Random House for letting us enjoy this nice story time today. Oh, look, there's an egg in your book. It looks ready to hatch. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. I can't believe you did that. The egg hatched and now there's a dragon in your book. Don't be scared, it's a baby dragon. Go ahead and tickle her little nose. <laughs> Achoo! Oops, the dragon accidentally sneezed a fire in your book. We need to put it out quickly. Help dragon blow out the flame and turn the page. Ready? One, two, three. Oh no, your dragon didn't blow out the fire. She blew more fire. Carefully cover the flames by turning the page and tamp it down. That should put them out. Can you guys stomp your feet? Ugh, let's get them. It didn't work. They're getting bigger. Don't get too close. If only we could think of a way to put out this fire. Hmm. That's it. Let's use your imagination to put out the fire. Imagine. A great big water balloon right in the middle of the next page. Make sure it's full and ready to pop. Perfect. Now use your finger to pop the balloon and get ready for the ready pop. Splash! <laughs> Hooray, you put out the fire. Give the dragon a high five. You have a great imagination and dragon must be a little hungry now. Why don't you use your imagination again and think up a yummy treat for her? How about a triple scoop of yummy ice cold chocolate and strawberry? <gasps> What do you think it is? Ice cream with sprinkles. Wow, that looks delicious. 
Yum. Well, Dragon must be tired after all that adventure. I think it's time for her to fly home. She's probably very full. She's going to need some help taking off. Flap the book up and down like giant dragon wings. Can you guys flap your arms? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Almost there. Keep flapping, keep going. Whoosh, whoosh. Let's see if that out. There she goes. Goodbye, dragon. Wave goodbye and turn the hang on a second what's this oh look more eggs whatever you do don't turn the page uh-oh i think it's time to close the book carefully all right. Good job, guys. Great listening today. Thank you so much for joining me for virtual story time. Remember, there's so many more story times that you can be involved with. You can go to ocpl.org to find out. Thank you. Bye.